Greetings to you all, welcome back to Let's Play War Song with me, Antigua Omega. Uh, I'm not going to do anything on this side. And I'm content with everything on this side, that was a good turn. Oh, very wise, Lance, very wise. This is the slowest approach I've ever seen. Look, Monster Gargoyle. Oh, sorry, Monster Wyvern. Let me talk to your leader. I'm going to have to step in here. I wanted to defensively sit and wait for you, but... I'm running out of patience, in all honesty. Kara probably can't handle all of this by himself, looking at the way archers are performing. I'm gonna send Lance over to help him, I think. Lance has one spell. Carleon's got Mina back in him up, he'll be fine. He's not gonna have any archers left to back him up, but it's alright. Hopefully I can keep some soldiers alive for the dinosaurs that are coming in. My plan originally was that Tyberon's soldiers and Lance's griffins would be able to deal with the dinosaurs. I think that pretty much still holds true. I'm going to lose some griffins if I send Lance over to help, but we'll have some left. Be alright. I do like the way the units are given different levels. Once again, the same applies to the enemies. If an enemy is over level 5, then it gets a more powerful fireball. But if it's under level 5, it has a weaker fireball. That's the only defining criteria between the units. So if you want to make one of them level 7 to make him seem like the boss monster, he's actually exactly the same as the level 6. Okay, this guy's level 4, so he's got a weaker fireball. He is actually different in some capacity. Garrett, that is not the approach we've been taking on this mission, alright? You can't suddenly pretend we care about the safety of our men. I've been using people to body block. That has been their purpose for joining the army. We don't care about our men, Garrett. We care about our commanders that are still alive. What are Garrett's stats? Plus six, plus four. Whereas Dukes are plus six plus four. Okay, so these archers are exactly the same as on the other side. So any difference in performance is down to RNG or Gareth's superior leadership. But not any actual implementation of the game. I'm tempted to attack him to stop him fireballing. I'm going to do it. Thought we were going to get a clean kill then. Are the Wyverns weaker than the Gargoyles? No, they're not. They're much, much more defensive. These guys have 16. These guys have 24. I don't know how that was so efficient. Must be some type advantage thing going on. 
Maybe archers do not have type advantage against gargoyles, but do against wyverns. I don't know. Someone in the comments probably knows better than me about the nuances of the game. I just kill the things. Like this. That was anticlimactic. Am I the only one who doesn't really see thunder when I cast that thunder spell? I see thunder. Oh, I see, I see thunder. But on the ground afterwards, what is that supposed to be? It looks like spikes come out the ground. Columns of earth. I don't know what's... Is that supposed to be fire? I suppose it could be fire. Lightning strikes and then it sets the grass on fire. It makes sense in a forest. It makes less sense in a cave. But... I don't know. It's a very weird end to that animation. I don't know why we couldn't just have the lightning zap and that's it. That's the spell. Call it a day. I swear you do have the same stats as Garrett. For your archers. He does, honestly. He's gonna need more help than this. What the hell is going on? Alright, fine. These are some rather crafty weapons that have discovered a way to become immune to magic. Aha, but I've softened them up to arrows. Joke's on them. Lance, get out of here. You can't handle these guys. They're too strong for you. Tyberon, get in there. We're nearly out of archers. Why am I controlling these manually? Uh, you can't actually get any units in range. Okay, so sometimes magic works, but sometimes magic doesn't work. This particular group, immune to magic. Previous group, took good damage from magic. Proximity to the middle of the spell, sometimes matters, sometimes it doesn't. I am so confused. Should King Garrett cast a spell to soften up these enemies next turn? Who knows if it will even do anything. Don't get me wrong, magic is amazing in this game, but only when it works. Assistant fellow. At least healing spells can't miss. So that's pretty good. I dislike you. Magic is ineffective, it looks like the Duke's gonna have to get his own hands dirty. I'm glad I sent Lance to the left. Left is about to get overrun. Garrett just can't kill things fast enough. 
And I am still milking it for experience on the left side, even though it doesn't do anything, because I just want that 9, that L9, to appear next to Garrett. Doesn't make any difference, but it looks good. Okay, fortunately, this guy's been outsmarted by a slightly too steep of a mountain. He's left half of his men behind, foxed by the first mountain, and the second one has gone and stumped him and all. Hang on, I need to sit. I need to show you this to prove it. Look, here they are. See, he's abandoned them. Brain's not the strong point of the monsters. All right, Mina, magic's failing us. Offensive magic is failing us. It's time to revert to type. Draw on your experience as a cleric. She's going to get to actually attack with her men as well. It's win-win. Don't have that much hope for this. Ah, it's better than I expected. These guys are just a fodder. If two groups of soldiers can kill a gargoyle, it's fine. Can't actually attack the Wyvern with Mina. These chaps, however, are gonna get stuck in. There is no way that spear reached that Wyvern or oh, Gargoyle. You are in the valley of the mountains. Wow. Tiberon. How are you so good? How are your men so good? I just let Tyberon command the whole army. He's the only one who seems to know what he's doing. Right, Garrett is going to secure a kill here on this guy. Because I keep saying it that the XP doesn't matter anymore. And I keep doing things like this for no reason. Because I want the XP. But I have to listen to myself here. The XP... It doesn't matter. Killing these four gargoyles is pointless. Because they're going to explode in a minute anyway. So all I end up doing is injuring my own archers. There is literally no reason to make that move. But I can't help it. I've got a problem, okay? I am Artego Omega, and I'm an XP addict. Forgive me. I'm just deciding if I want the 10 archers to kill the Wyvern, or if I want Garrett to do it. I'm not going to let Garrett do it. I think the archers could manage it, but I don't know. It's satisfying to let the king kill the enemy commander. Welcome, Lance. We've had a revelation. If we play strategically correctly, it's easier to win than if we farm XP. It's this new discovery I've made. Let me show you. That complicates matters slightly. Not 
too much, mind you. you know what, I might make a point against these guys for being so unkind with their fireball. Lance, prepare the... Wait. Why can't Lance's dragon cast Blizzard? It attacks by shooting fireballs. Is Lance casting the Blizzard? Or is his dragon? Is it some sort of twin breath dragon? What is this weird concoction you're flying, Lance? Regardless, Lance, ready up, Lizard. King Garrett has a plan. Alright, give it up, man. There's no way you could stab me. I'm hiding in the trees. Which obscures your vision. At close range. That's terrifying. Okay. Um, make sure Duke Carleon is surrounded on all sides. By expendable people. That guy really is outsmarted by the mountain. Alright. I don't like the look of this. Mina, we're gonna try this whole magic thing again. Maybe you have to get to level 6 for your spells to be bigger. This is too small for a fireball. Maybe it's not level 5, maybe it's level 6. Fireball should be bigger than that. That wasn't Fireball! What the hell was that? Oh well. Um, Carleon's healed. That's nice. Type rotten. We made a bit of an error over here. Tyberon's men can probably, probably surround Kalia. Uh, we should send the ten in. It makes makes more sense. Oh, in that case, if a... Uh, well, I don't know if her magic's upgraded or not, because I was comparing it with the wrong spell. Maybe it is upgraded. I don't know, I'm completely lost now. Whatever, I'm going to get Mina another level when I can. Just to be sure. Alright, surround this fragile man. He is too weak to be left unguarded. We can't all be as strong as Tyberon. Don't even attack. Just protect. AI can move those. I'm lazy. Now, as I was saying, prepare the blizzard that can't hit both generals. Aha! They're not immune to cold magic. They're just occasionally immune to fire magic. This is for casting a fireball at me.
I'm not done yet. Now, now we are finished. We haven't maxed out our XP bar though. Nothing's gonna happen when we get all the way to the end. But we're gonna max it out. There is no way these guys are gonna kill Garrett, but he's gonna get hit by a fireball, he's gonna go down to eight or maybe seven. Then if he got attacked by all four sides, maybe he gets down to 2 HP or something. Then he can't act next turn, it's all very annoying. So let's just stop any of that from happening. Okay, or maybe he won't throw a fireball at me. And if you recall, Lance has the uh, the amulet, so it doesn't really matter where I place his griffins, they're going to be in his influence. That's a brave move. I can respect that. It's amazing how 35 attack doesn't just rip through 16 defense. They have a 30% defensive bonus for being airborne. But, I mean, 30% on 16 doesn't seem like it should prevent 35 attack. Somewhere my understanding of the maths of this game is a bit lacking. But hey, we've nearly finished dealing with the Wyverns. We haven't started on the dinosaurs yet, but they're waiting for us. Tyberon's men out of range. Outperforming anyone else's men. Oh, this guy isn't waiting. Just a bit of a traffic jam forming. Looks like it's mop-up duty, but that's going to have to wait for the next video. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you then.